Thank you so much for joining. Happy New Year, Thriving Friends. All right, so um, we are talking about vision boards and go cards today. So vision boards are more like boards. Originally, that's what they were meant for boards. That will help you visualize your goal or your vision for your life, okay? So in the past, you will see something like this one, which is like a board that comes with a pin. And then people will cut pictures of places they desire to go, maybe a picture of their desire um, car, their dream house, whatever they are desiring, and they will put it on a regular board like this, add a pin to it, and then they'll have it in a place, a place that you can easily find, proximity, yeah, a place that you can easily find. So this board I bought online, it's been a long time, that's why you see that it's been overly used, right? overly used and you can see this bill on i left this one on it's from a candy we bought <laughs> so it's a chocolate so this is not a real dollar it's a chocolate it's called a million dollar chocolate and i thought it was fascinating and will remind me that million dollars is available you can earn or gain or whatever you want to call it so i i cut this one out after eating the chocolate and i pasted it on my board last year almost two years now but yeah, it's still alive, and I'll put it back this year, too. It's always nice to have something you can see to remind you of your goals or what you are you are fighting for in life. So that is a regular vision board. I'm putting it to the side because I no longer use this one. And then this is another version. This kind of vision board um, gives you two options, erasable parts and then the regular part that you pin. So the erasable part, since this one is a monthly board, so I just wrote one thing on it, like <laughs> Thriving Generation Life, which is what we are doing today. So every month you can put the month, the things you have to do, have it at a place that you can see it, clean it out and rewrite. So this is dry erase board. You can clean it out. If there is anything that you want to paste, you can also cut and paste right here. These papers, I bought them already cut from um, dollar store for $1, but you can always cut your own. You can always paste your own and we'll go through that as well. So I'm going to show you the vision board I have been working on and then other samples online so that you can create one on your own. You can create it on your phone. You can create it on your laptop. You're going to use the same laptop that I'm using right now. So now we are going to canva.com. This is the homepage. If you come here, I have created some things in the past on canva.com. So it is showing all the things I've done in the past. But if you haven't done anything before, you can go ahead and create an account and it's free. So go ahead and create one. You can do it alongside me or you can do your own. Okay. Go to canva.com. When you get to canva.com, open a blank page and type in vision board. If you type in vision board, they will give you several templates. Choose the one that is appealing for you. Modify that one. We will modify mine so that you know how you can move pictures around. Another option, if you are hoping to put this on your desktop, you can also start by searching for wallpaper, desktop wallpaper in canva.com. So instead of going for the vision board option, which you just did, you can do um, desktop wallpaper. So that one comes and it looks something like this. It is brother at 118 by 110. I think they can show us the dimension. But if you don't need that, you're going to use it on your phone. You can just go ahead and use the vision board. I used the desktop, desktop wallpaper, and then when I got to the desktop wallpaper, I picked one of them and started modifying from here. So you can just click on it, and then you click on modify this, and it will give you something like this. I hope you can see. There are several options, and you should be creative with whatever you go for. Go for the ones that you love. Go for the colors that speak more to you. I am more organized in my thinking. If I have everything scattered like this, sometimes it's chaotic in my mind. So you don't have to go for options like this. But can you imagine this is free? This is also free. So if this one is more appealing to you, go for this one, right? So again, this is all on canva.com. And this is the free version I am using. I would then go back and show you the one I started modifying so that we can do it together. All right, so back to canva.com. And then I'm going to my previous work. I started working on two templates, but I chose the one, Be Gentle With Yourself. That is the template I am using. So I'll create a new page and I'll show you how to do it. 
In the new page, I did type vision board. Several options came up. I wanted one that is free. If you see this thing, the pro, the one with the crown there, it means that it's not free. You have to pay for it. Let me click on it so that you see how that looks. It will tell you get a trial. I've used a trial before. That's why it's saying another trial. And I think it's 30 days and then they will charge you afterwards. If you don't need it, you don't need it. If you think you, you are creating something that you can finish within the 30 days and you want to try the pro out, please go ahead and try it out. But you can get several free version like this one. But it's very simple. The idea is very simple. Just go to canva.com. Um, go for the free version. If you're not interested in the pro, pick a template. You are going to insert your pictures. So I'll just go ahead and show you how you put in the pictures so that you can do that. So I hope I'm sharing the my wholesome year. That is the template I am modifying. And I'm using my wholesome year because I am thinking of the holistic wellness view and I'm going to change these pictures. So to change these pictures, you can just click on it and delete. Click on it and delete. If any of the pictures also... Um, is appealing to you, speaks to you, you can leave the pictures there. And then to add other pictures, you can go to their elements. So you go to elements in canva.com. Let's say you type 2024, several things will come up. Remember when you see the crown there, it means that is you have to pay for it. It's, it's, it's the paid version. I don't want the paid version. I want the free version. So you can keep scrolling until you find a free version. This one is free. So I clicked on it and it came on my page, right? But it's too huge. I'm going to just modify it and then put it on top of my wholesome year. So this is 2024. I picked one. If you don't like this one, you just click on it. You delete. You pick a different one. You modify it to the size you want. Move it to, the, you, to your screen or wherever you want it. Let's say you don't want it there. You can totally delete pictures. Move images wherever you want. Just be creative. Do whatever you want. It is yours. It is your platform. Let the colors speak to you. Let the vision speak to you. I actually stopped using the physical board, the one behind me, because sometimes I thought you don't want people to know your thinking, your deeper thoughts. You don't want people to know your secrets, right? Not necessarily secret, but I mean, if I'm thinking of traveling and I want it to be a surprise for my family, why would I want to put it on a big board so that everybody will see it, right? So for that reason, you may want to have a digital one that you have on your phone or on your screen somewhere. And then you can have a general board for your family, one that you don't mind if people see. So I moved it back to the center because that's where I want it. If you want to add other images, so let's say you have personal images you want to add, you can upload them here. So you click on upload, it will give you the picture to upload. It's working fine. Wonderful. Thank you, Sarah. Upload and you can go to any image you have on your desktop or on your laptop, wherever it is, and then upload. So this is a picture with me and some thriving friends um, from from um, North Dakota. So I have uploaded that picture. I'm also going to upload another picture of myself looking all so cute. So I've uploaded that as well. So let's say I want to connect more with friends. I can double click on this and this will come up. This was in, I double clicked twice. That's why it's double. This was last year in Atlanta. We went for a conference. So I, maybe I want to attend more conference this year. I'm adding this image to remind me of conference presentations and connecting with friends. And for this side, I'm going to replace that with my looking also cute image. This is also me in Atlanta turning my head and smiling and doing all kinds of stuff. So maybe I want to remind myself that in 2023, my wholesome year, I want to keep smiling. Some pictures like this can be helpful. I also up uploaded some things initially from last night, and I'm going to show you those things too. That includes pictures from Pinterest. So I realized last night when I was going through the demo, if you want some cute pictures, let's say, um, let's go back to their photos. So when you go to photos on your site, this is pictures that Canva has uploaded already. The very nice ones that you really want, they want to charge for it. So let's say I do gym. Most of the cute gym pictures are for sale. They have the pro thing there. The general ones are not for sale. But doing some online search, I realized that you can get several pictures from Pinterest. So if you don't know Pinterest, I'm going to type it in here in a new tab and I'll share that tab with you instead. So this is Pinterest. I used to call it pin interest, <laughs> but it's Pinterest. Um, Pinterest also is a free platform and it also gives you the opportunity to follow images and things that are of interest to you. So you can 
um, have an account here if you don't already. I do have an account from the past. I had not used it in years till last night when I realized I'll get more images from here. So I came to Pinterest. I hope you can see the Pinterest page. So in Pinterest, I pinned some of the images or you can say I saved some images from here that I want to use. And it's so easy to transfer images from Pinterest to Canva. All you have to do is to save it download it or what i did was to copy the images most images here are free always check and make sure that if they want you to give credit to whoever uploaded it please do so accordingly but most of the images are free i really love this one um, um the one on saving so i came here i copied it and when you go back to your canva page okay let me go back and I'll show you the Canva page. So you go back to your Canva page and I paste it. I, I'm doing copy and paste, control, alt. I'm using MacBook, so it's quite different. Um, I think it's the same with Windows. Um, MacBook is command C for copy and command V for paste. And I think for Windows, it's just control C, control V. So you can just copy the image from Pinterest, come and paste it in Canva. So um, I also copied some other images I thought was really cute. So when I do paste in Canva, it automatically shows in the upload. So one option was going through your downloading onto your computer or your phone and going to upload and uploading the thing directly. Another option is just going to Canva or Pinterest, copying the image, pasting here, and it will automatically show here. And now we are learning other new and creative ways to have our vision boards. So this is the one we are editing together. And I brought this image from Pinterest. I just copied and I pasted it here. These other images I uploaded straight from my desktop or my laptop. So right here, I put this image in. So I'm going to jump and go to the one I started uploading last night. So I decided that this year, I'm not going to do the full one year vision board. I lose track when I have so much on my board, right? And I, 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 I kind of forget what I'm actually even working on. I've broken, sorry, the year into pieces and I'm going to do it. I initially thought I would do it six months, six months. So half of the year vision board and half of the year vision board. But I just decided last night I'll just do four months so that I will do it three times in the year. So this is the first part, January to, fit, um, January to April, I'll be working on three to four of my wellness goals okay so that i don't lose track just commit to a few of them then i'll continue to work on the rest as we move forward so very very simple vision board for this year and my goals the goals we are going to create will be coming out of these visions so i took physical wellness and physical wellness i specifically need physical strength after having my last child i'm really struggling with strength few things i'm tired climbing the stairs i'm tired and my back really hurts when i went to the hospital they said physical activity can help so i should start going back to the gym i stopped going to the gym when i was pregnant because i, I wasn't ready to play with my <laughs> with my body so these are the two things to remind me of the physical strength i need for this year at least for the first quarter of the year so i found this image on pinterest and this image as well and i pasted them here then another aspect will be financial wellness so another goal i'm working on for the first quarter of the year financial wellness and what i really need when it comes to financial wellness is financial smartness for others it may be different it may be multiple streams of income so adding on more income it may be um tighten more it could be anything when it comes to financial wellness or learning how to invest for me specifically i need to learn how to save different ways of saving i i already have an income coming in so i just want to be smart about where the money can go and how we can grow our money in different areas so this is the image that will be reminding me of that you can choose whatever image you want you can make yours as complicated as you want or as less complicated as you want and then another thing that i want to work on when it comes to my wholesome year my um holistic wellness year is quality time with family i realized that children are growing they are not waiting for us to work on our wonderful goals or our wonderful aspirations so even as the children are growing i want to be a part of their life on a daily basis so making the conscious effort to be part of their life me i need to be reminded that this this really needs like quality time so this image i found on pinterest as well i exported that here 
to be able to use for my vision board. So this is exactly what I'm going to do. And you probably just change the background color to something calm. I'm thinking of a calm green or, you know, green reminds me of nature or something light golden. That's the last thing I would do. And then get organized. This getting organized is not just arranging things in my house. So for the first quarter of the year, I, like I said, I'm working on three of my wellness goals, focusing on three. I can do everything. So I'm choosing three that I'll commit to the quarter of the year. And this is for my own mental wellness. Okay, my mental wellness. I, I feel like my mind can sometimes be chaotic. And I mean pretty chaotic because I have a lot of things going on at the same time. I'm trying to achieve so many things at the same time. And then it affects the stuff at home because you cannot do everything within 24 hours. So getting organized, what can be done at this time? That is why I'm not also doing a full year vision board. I'm just going to do three months, four months. Then after I work through that, I, I try to um, work through the others as well. The last thing that I wanted to put here, I saved this space so that I can show you will be spending more time with God. Um, you can keep going and going. If you don't have God on your side, it's going to just be a struggle. And this year, um, I'm not going to take that for granted at all. I live by grace. I live by grace every day. And I want to capitalize on that. I found this image which said, Pray more, worry less. But later I decided I don't want to use it because I don't even have to worry at all. So I wanted to replace it with this, which has turned around right now. So I'm going to turn it back to its original post. Well, it's refusing to turn, so I'll just delete it. And then I, I, I downloaded three images. So this is my third. Why is it turning though? Maybe because I'm sharing the screen and it's refusing to turn. But this one says pray first. And the other one I was going to use said pray on it, pray over it pray through it i thought that one is also cool but this one works too and this one falls within the spiritual wellness category so again this is mine yours can be different okay choose whatever you want to work on and work on that accordingly